Every year on an early Saturday morning in October, a group of friends gather together to set up for an event that they hope will change the lives of many underprivileged children in the high country. In 2005, Chris and Becky Fowler felt like they needed to do something to help the less fortunate children throughout Watauga, Ash, Avery, and Wilkes counties up in the mountains of North Carolina. We were working with the Sheriff's Department and we were going into the, the county jail and we realized that they were in need. There, there were a lot of inmates in there and we realized that their children were falling through the cracks. And we decided being bikers that we would do a motorcycle event in order to uh, do something in the community, bring the community together to help these children. Being of strong religious faith, Chris and Becky decided that their event, the High Country Toy Run, would raise money to purchase gifts for those children at Christmas time. Armed with an idea, they turned to their fellow Christian Motorcyclist Association members for help. Christian Motorcycle Association is a nonprofit and international ministry, and we really try to reach out to the motorcycle community. And each chapter, like we are the Boone chapter, and our name is the Peacemakers. Each chapter tries to do something in the community to help the community. And we have had many chapter members pitch in. We've had many chapter members raise money and help put this together. And it's, it's just been great. It's the support from the Christian Motorcyclist Association members, local businesses, and the community that has made the ride so successful and it's people like Mark Bumgarner that have helped make this an annual event. My particular Sunday school class at Mount Vernon Baptist Church has been uh, involved with this. We help them with uh, wrapping the presents and, and uh, gathering the toys and raising the money and that kind of thing. So we try to be supportive of, of that activity. For each motorcycle involved, there's a registration fee. That fee is what pays for the presents. And despite what the event's name implies, toys are not the only things purchased for the children. We really are looking to get the children what they need. Um, the items are purchased at Christmas, so we do try to provide each child a toy, but we definitely are buying them warm clothing. We buy coats and gloves, boots, hats, scarves, um, whatever the children are, are needing. And But definitely we do provide a lot of toys for the kids too. One of the things when we buy these gifts, we wrap them, we prepare them, then we give them to the parents to give to the children so it doesn't appear like it's coming from an outside source. And that's one of the other beauties of the toy run. On the day of the event, registration takes place at the Boone Mall starting at 9 a.m. After registration ends at 11.45 a.m., the ride begins. Motorcycle rides usually between 40 and 50 miles. It normally takes about an hour to do. And it's a police escorted ride. They block off the streets throughout the county, so we actually never, usually don't have to put our feet down from start to finish. Lieutenant Tim Wilson with the Watauga County Sheriff's Department feels that his time and support are going to a very good cause. I think it's really good for the community. There's a, you know, a lot of needy children that, that may not have money to get um, you know, toys for Christmas, and especially with the economy the way it is now, you know, I think it, it, it'll really make some kid happy you know, come Christmas morning. And not having a motorcycle isn't an excuse for not joining in. The uh, High Country Toy Run definitely has more events than just the ride. There is a silent auction. This year we had some really great items. We had a football that was signed by Coach Moore and many of the um, football players. We had a helmet also signed by the football players and coach. Throughout the day there are also a lot of door prizes, 
food, and then of course there's the company. Today is just camaraderie. Uh, the, the people that put it on, Christian Motorcycle Group, are very wonderful people. Uh, they've even blessed my motorcycle. But they are very, besides spiritual, but they're very friendly. Now I come out, you know, sometimes to be a blessing to somebody, but I come out and I fellowship with these people, and I, and I get a blessing out of it, you know. So it's uh, it's just it's just a good time, you know, good time, good uh, good family oriented uh, time out here, and we just enjoy it. It's very amazing how much the High Country Toy Run has grown over its short life. In its very first year, it raised fourteen hundred dollars and helped fifty four children. In just over three years, now they're commanding numbers well over $12,000 and are hoping to provide gifts for at least 300 children. God just continues to bless us with great people to work, you know, that are helping us bring in the money and children to buy for. I really believe that he is just um, happy with what's going on here in the high country. I think that it's just going to continue to grow, so I, I just foresee it to just getting bigger and better. None of this would be possible without the help and support of the community. Together, on a motorcycle, we can help enrich the lives of many less fortunate children right here in the high country. I'm just very thankful for all the people, all the businesses that have been supporting us, and we just really want to just get the word out if there's families that need help or want to help with it, with, you know, shopping or wrapping, that we're looking for all the help we can get. There are many, many children out there that need help. These are really rough times, but we just want to thank you, and if anybody else would like to support us and the children in the high country, we welcome your donations. We would surely appreciate it. May God bless you all. Thank you.